Thanks. You got food poisoning today. I don't know when I'm gonna use it. I was walking down the street, there was a sign stapled to a telephone pole. It said, reward, lost $50. If found, just keep it. Every morning I get up and I make instant coffee and I drink it so I have enough energy to make the regular coffee. One time right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you this. If you're in a vehicle and you're traveling at the speed of light and then you turned your lights on, would they do anything? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. <laughs> He got these one liners, you gotta think about them. Anyway, uh, I'm reacting to uh, Stephen Wright, Hysteria. Stand up. Please hit that subscribe button and give me a like. We're on our way to, I don't know how many subscribers. Maybe six, I think six. Let's get back into it. Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. <laughs> that was good. I got a new dog. He's a paranoid retriever. He brings back everything because he's not sure what I throw him. I heard this on the last one I reacted. The first one. Went up to a tourist information booth. I walked up and I said, yeah, so uh, tell me about some people here last year. Woke up this morning, I was folding my bed back into a couch. I always broke both my arms because it's not one of those kind of beds. <laughs> Hermits have no peer pressure. It's a good thing to say to the police next time they stop you. License and registration, please. Hermits have no peer pressure. <laughs> License and registration, please. Whenever I think about the past, it just brings back so many memories. <laughs> License and registration, please. There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. <laughs> License and registration, please. What's another word for a thesaurus? <laughs> See the cops start crying. <laughs> my favorite chair is a wicker chair. It's my favorite chair because I stole it. I was at a party, a very crowded party, when no one was looking. I went over to it and I unraveled it. <laughs> I stuck it through the keyhole in the door. The girl was in it was almost killed. <laughs> my girlfriend hates it when we take a bath together and I practice skipping rocks. Bought some land, it was kind of cheap, it was on somebody else's property. <laughs> Bought an ant farm, I don't know where I'm going to get tractors that small. <laughs> Bought a cordless extension cord. <laughs> Bought a decaffeinated coffee table. Can't even tell by looking at it. <laughs> this guy here he is the king of one-liners, but you got to think about what he's saying, because sometimes it kind of sounds kind of stupid or goofy, but it's still funny after you think about what he's saying. Whenever I pick up someone hitchhiking, I always like to wait a few minutes before I say anything to them. <laughs> and I say, so uh, how far do you think you were going? Put your seatbelt on, I want to try something. <laughs> I saw it in a cartoon, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. <laughs> My grandfather was on the first submarine ever, rather than the periscope, they had a kaleidoscope. <laughs> My God, we're surrounded.
I used to spend time with my grandfather. When my mother was going to have another baby, she would send me out of the way, make me spend time with my grandfather. He was completely out of his mind, totally insane. Every day, man, to stand in a little room together, side by side, looking straight ahead for three minutes without talking to each other. He told me it was elevator practice. He smiled. Now, sometimes they'll be on an elevator with someone. I'll say, did your grandfather make you do this too? <laughs> they'll say, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> If you shoot a mime, should you use a silencer? They didn't get that one. My grandmother was also insane. She had pierced hearing aids. <laughs> Unscented perfume. Came in a little empty bottle. One time she said, Stephen, come over here. She said, here's five dolls and don't tell your mother I'm giving this to you. I said, it'll cost you more than that. <laughs> I understood that. I like to tease my plants when I water them. I water them with ice cubes. They didn't get that one. I like to skate on the other side of the ice. I like to reminisce with people I don't know. I like to fill my tub up with water, then turn the shower on and act like I'm in a submarine that's been hit. So I was in bed with my girlfriend reading a second-hand diary that I bought. You know the pajamas with the feet? I just had the feet. You know when you put a stick in the water and it looks like it's bent, but it really isn't? That's why I don't take baths. <laughs> she said, let me ask you this. And I said, what? And she said, if you could know how and when you were going to die, would you want to know? I said, no. She said, forget it then. Thanks a lot. I'm gonna clap for it. I'm gonna clap. I'm gonna clap for him. Um, some of the one-liners was not it to me, but a lot of them was cool. It was, you know, you had to think about it. Like I said before, you had to think about it. Because it can go over your head real quick. Because they just like, he's just saying three or four words. Sometimes it seems like he's just saying stuff. Let me see if this will work. Would they like this one? Let me throw that out there. If I walk up in the air, will I fall down? No, that didn't get it. If I stick my hand in the water, will it hurt? No, that didn't make it. It just seemed like as he just throwing it out there, but he's quick with it. I'm sure um he wrote this down and practiced it and everything and memorized it. But it just seemed like he just throwing stuff out there. Some of it did stick. It was funny. Some of it was like, whoop, over my head. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. You know. So let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments below. I'm sure you guys are Stephen Wright fans. That's probably checking this out. Maybe some of you guys. Never heard of him. You just checking me out and found out, hey, who is this guy? But leave it down in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 6,000 subscribers. Hit that like button. That helps this video to get out there. Just help me, guys. I like reacting to comedians. And and uh, I'm going to get back to reacting to music, too. You new people, if you never seen any of my videos in the past I've did react to music videos it's just sometimes they don't let me post them so you know that's why I went to react to comedians because I might get a yellow mark where because there's a lot of cursing but they still let me post it like this he didn't have a lot of cursing so I should be able to post this and I should shouldn't get yellow mark but um if you guys want me to react to more of Stephen Wright, leave it down in the comments below. Let me know which one you want me to react to, you know, what video from him. And uh, that's it. Just hit that subscribe button, please. Let's grow, guys. I want to keep doing this.
and Random Ridge is out.